God, I hope this turns out because I have done so many retakes. Hey everyone, Brian Bagash here, core design engineer with Brunswick Bowling. And today we're talking about everyone's newest obsession. Two new bowling balls in the Hammer lineup, packed with new cover technology and a brand new core system. So let's take it to the intro. It's obsession. Hammer fans are well aware of our long-standing tradition of offering two ball performance packs. Normally, it's a strong asymmetrical core wrapped in a solid and a pearl, or solid and hybrid, or hybrid and pearl, whatever that combination may be, of cover stocks, but this time we did something totally different. We're offering two different cores, each with the same shape overall, but two totally different differentials resulting in two very different motion shapes. We've wrapped them each in their own solid cover stock that enhances the ball motion of each core. So let's talk about this core system for a second. It's something totally different for the hammer line and totally new technology overall. What we've done is we've put dot in both of these balls. Dot you're already familiar with. That just means the pin is at the bottom of the ball and a dot is at the top where you expect the pin to be. That way when you drill any layout you want on this ball, you don't have to worry about drilling through the pin or voiding the warranty. And it helps with cracking because you're not drilling through the pin. But it's especially important on this core system because as you notice in the picture in the corner, the Obsession Ball has a puck on it. We're calling this a dot puck for obvious reasons. We put it on the pin on the bottom of the ball. And it's basically the puck that you found in the Black Widow. The difference is it's on the same axis of the ball, so it's giving you the same benefit of added differential. But because it's on the bottom on the pin, when you drill through the dot, you're also not drilling through the puck, which means the added differential that the puck is giving you in the design always stays. Sometimes when you drill through a ball that has a puck on top, like the Widow for example, then you're drilling out some of the added differential and some of the benefit that the puck is giving you, but not with this new design. You'll notice that the Tour version doesn't have this puck, and as a result, the total differential of the Obsession is 050, but the total differential of the Obsession Tour is 034. So that's quite a difference, and that's going to make a big difference in flare potential and in hook potential of these two balls. Now, although the total differential is very different in each of these balls, the intermediate differential is the same at 0.013. That's because the intermediate differential comes from the main core body, not from the puck. Now, the difference is the ratio of the intermediate differential to total differential of these balls is very different because of that. We already know because of the total differential, the obsession is going to flare more. But with an 013 to intermediate differential and an 050 total differential, the ratio is about 25%, which means that this ball doesn't have a ton of intermediate differential, so it's going to give you a rounder, smoother, more gradual shape. But that's a good thing on heavy oil because this ball is going to start, dig, and not give you like that jerk roll that some asymmetrical balls give you. Whereas, with the same intermediate differential of 0 0.013, but a lower, lower total differential of 0 0.034, the Tor version is going to give you a lot more down lane motion because the ratio 0 0.013 over 0 0.034 is more like 40% of the total asymmetry of the ball. So you're getting a lot more jerk down lane, a lot more responsiveness, we'll say, at the back of the pattern due to the ratio of the intermediate diff to the total diff of the tour ball. But because it's got some of those characteristics of the web series, you'll notice the shape of the core has a characteristically round um, spheroidal shape. Um, this core has some of those characteristics as well, and these covers are strong sanded solids, so you're going to get some of that smooth characteristic and some great continuation out of both of these balls, regardless of which one you choose. And of course, both of these cores are wrapped in the outer core that's got carbon fiber infusion. Um, when you drill into the outer cores, you'll notice that they're a little more black. That's because of some of the tinting that the carbon fiber is doing. That's going to improve pin carry because it strengthens up the outer core. It doesn't deform as much when it goes through the pins, which means it's transferring more energy from the ball to the pins. And wrapped around these, uh, out, these inner cores, you've got plenty of cover. Uh, the new Envy CFI solid cover on the Obsession. That's something brand new for us. But we've also brought back uh, the CFI, which means carbon fiber infused, 
Um, that's a technology that the Hopkinsville plant had. We brought it back to Brunswick to give you the toughest possible outer cover. And we've put that in the new NV cover stock. That is going to be a new cover stock technology and you're just going to see a ton of hook and hook where you want it toward the back of the lane. And of course, you guys are familiar with the Tor V1 nameplate. Well, the Obsession Tor has Tor V2. So it's the same base chemistry that you see in the web series, but it's enhanced to give you a little more traction overall, and especially at the back of the lane. So all told, these are two really solid, pun intended, bowling balls. And without further delay, I'm going to take you to a comparison chart and show you how these two stack up compared to the rest of the current Hammer lineup. Okay. This chart contains every release in the hammer lineup for an entire year. You'll notice that they're sorted by oil volume on the bottom and on the left by motion shape. Pay attention because the angular back end motion is in the middle of this chart to most easily bridge the gap between the asymmetrical balls on top and the symmetrical balls toward the bottom. You'll notice that our newest releases, Obsession and Obsession Tour, are highlighted in yellow on the chart. The Obsession can handle all but the heaviest of oil patterns and falls on the line between an early strong and late strong mid lane reed. This ball on the heaviest of oil shapes in the same way that a Black Widow would on more medium heavy conditions. If you put the Black Widow and the Obsession on the same medium oil pattern, you would see the Black Widow get a couple extra feet of length with a more responsive change of direction at the back of the lane, while the Obsession would dig harder in the mid lane, read earlier, and be a little more continuous overall. The Obsession Tour is built to handle a more medium heavy amount of total oil volume and gets a little extra length compared to the Widow and the Obsession. It sits neatly next to the Redemption Hybrid and although these overlap on the chart, they actually have slightly different ball motions, with the Obsession Tour reading earlier and stronger in the mid lane with its aggressively sanded finish. It's better for more fresh patterns or more heavy oil when you want to keep your launch angles a little more closed and you want to control the lane front to back. The Redemption, although it covers a similar amount of boards, is going to get through the fronts better and recover more on the back end, meaning that you're able to open up the launch angles and see more left to right motion with your Redemption Hybrid. The Obsession and Obsession Tour make a really unique combination because you can have them both in your bag and they certainly fill different roles, but you could also pick one based on your player style. If you're a speed dominant or rev challenge player, you're going to be able to use the Obsession Solid on a wide variety of medium to heavy patterns when they're the freshest and you need the ball to start early and continue well. If you're a rev dominant player, have lower ball speed, or you're a two-handed player, you're going to love the Obsession Tour to fill the same role in your bag that the lower rev, higher speed players would use their Obsession for. Both of these Obsessions are complemented well by the Web Tour Hybrid. If both of these balls are too early or just too jerky for the pattern you're bowling on, then you can blend out the pattern without losing too much total hook by switching to your web tour hybrid. And of course, if you need more length and shape down lane on more medium patterns, or after the lanes have transitioned and you see more hook in the mid lane, then the web MB is the ball of choice. That's all the information I have on your two newest obsessions, available worldwide in pro shops beginning February 18th. Make sure you subscribe to my channels on YouTube and Facebook, Bowling by Gosh. Like this video and share it around. Feel free to drop a comment down below, I'm happy to respond. And of course, stay tuned, because I'm always making new videos as new releases from the brands of Brunswick come out. So until next time, thanks for watching.